the ever-growing strength of white privilege. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people? Hey, before the video we even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Alright, so recently, everybody knows about the Charlottesville uh, riots or protests or whatever you want to call them. Everybody knows about it. It's, it's, it's in the news daily, a day. So, basically, the other day, we had a uh, Caucasian man who is... He actually, he called himself, he said he was a grand wizard of some, some KKK, uh, sleeper cell. Because these guys are terrorists. Don't let nobody fool you. So, he's not even a sleeper cell. He's a cell. Alright? So, basically what happens is, as you can see by the video, the gentleman decides to fire a loaded weapon into a crowd of people. He was actually firing at the feet of a black man. And, as you could also see in the background, the police did absolutely nothing to stop him. They let him shoot his gun off, and then they let him wander off to whatever kind of shenanigans that he could get into after that. This is what's going on down here. If y'all remember the other day, I had uh, put up a, a uh, video that basically was speaking about how there was a police officer... Who said that they were told to stand down. And not only were they told to stand down. But they were also. This is the police. They were also informed. That they should herd. The opposing factions. Towards each other. So they can be altercations. This is what he said. It's in the video that I put up. Were the police told to stand down during Charlottesville's riots? You'll be able to find it, the link in the description down below. So this is just more proof that whatever's going on in Charlottesville is a lot deeper than what we might think it is. It's, it's, it's a lot more going on down there. This is, this is going to be an impetus for something. Whether it's negative or whether it's positive. Who to know? But this is definitely going to be the impetus for something. Something big, one way or the other, is going to come out of this. I don't think it's going to be anything positive. I, I, especially not positive for uh, the colored people of America. You have the president coming out. And it seems, you know, it could be argued that he's giving support towards the KKK. By not condemning their actions. He's giving support. It can, pe it can be perceived that he's giving support to the neo-Nazis. By not condemning their actions. While when you have people that actually live in the town. Protesting these invaders. Because they're invaders at this point. Coming to their town. And trying to prevent them from doing maintenance on their own town. The people who live in the town is still put in the same light as the invaders. The outsiders who are coming from somewhere else into their town. In order to force them to keep certain monuments and statues up that they don't currently want anymore. Like I said before in, in an even a more previous video. The smart thing that it seems like these guys, the KKK and the neo-Nazis and whatever other white supremacist groups can be involved in this. They, for whatever the reason is, don't want to just take the statue for their own and put it in a building somewhere where they can go worship it. Instead, they need... For their statue to be where it isn't wanted anymore. So they can be forcing other people to have to live by their will. 
That's just my perception of the situation. I can be incorrect. Also, just so uh, we could just be perfectly clear with this. There was a gentleman, one of the gentlemen, the gentleman who actually fired the shot into the crowd. He was picked up by the police later. There's no telling what he did between them firing the shot and when the police actually picked him up and arrested him. But he has been picked up. He's been identified. He's been arrested. And um, we're going to see what they do with him after this. But I personally do not have that much faith in... <laughs> and, and the right thing being done first of all they're charging him for discharging a firearm within a thousand feet of a school not attempted murder which he should be charged with he should be charged with attempted murder or at, at least at least at minimum is could you could it be attempted manslaughter i don't know if it could be attempted manslaughter but if, if not attempted murder he should be getting charged with attempted murder. He's being charged with discharging a, a firearm within a thousand feet of a school. So they're already going light on him. They're already trying to find a loophole to let him out free. So this is what's going on. Really, this is what's going on. You have to think, maybe, at this, at this point, because you know the president usually pardons people. I wouldn't be surprised if, 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 if Trump pardoned, if Trump pardoned, uh, Manson. Is Manson still alive? I think he's still alive. I wouldn't be if he's still alive, I wouldn't be uh surprised if he was pardoned. Seriously, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if that kid that shot up the the, the, the church, if he was pardoned at this point. I would I just would not be surprised if Trump pardoned these guys. Um I'm not saying that that's what he plans on doing. I haven't heard anything. I'm just saying it wouldn't surprise me. It might surprise others, but it would not surprise me. Anyway, let me get y'all comments down below. I want to know what y'all think about this. Because this is just craziness. How a white man, a Caucasian man, can discharge a firearm in the direction of civilians. But he doesn't even get charged with that charge. He gets charged with discharging a firearm, firearm within a thousand feet of a school. This is just crazy. So leave y'all comments down below. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang, hashtag Bronx Bombers. I love y'all. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.